Sarah from All Coming Bust Ladies. And today I am creating another interview. I'm doing an interview with Basal from PBET. So Basal, why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself, what's your background, and then we'll get on to the project. Sure. So my name is Basal. I'm the CEO of uh, PLC Player Loyalty, known for PBET Project, as you mentioned, Sarah. I'm very happy, first of all, to be with you today. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, what we, uh, my background, I'm actually in technology innovation. I've been uh, thrilled by technology, so did a lot of uh, innovation in the software industry. And also, I have uh, about 15 years experience in the gaming. So let's talk a bit about PBET. What do we do in PBET is actually, let's put it in a simple way. What we do is we give a yes, approach, please. a solution <laughs> for mm -hmm. uh, offline casino to expand to the online space. So by solution, it's basically, of course, a technology tool, but above and beyond that, it's an approach as well. So we give them a way, a risk-free way to get to the online. Why? Because we do revenue sharing with our partner from offline casinos, and mm -hmm. we give a unified platform to manage their operation inside the casino and online. So basically, they, have, uh, they can focus on their core competencies, and we do everything regarding that's fantastic. That sounds very simple and makes actually sense for existence. Um, so I was actually, obviously, I did some research before the video, and um, I actually read somewhere that you do have a commercialized casino management system. And can you explain a little bit more about this product and what it actually does for people so they can understand it? Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, casino management system uh, uh, is a kind of ERP, you know, like a kind of system that manages every single aspect of a operation. So a casino management system mm -hmm. is basically intended for inside casino premises. What it does, it manages players, it manages accounting, everything regarding, let's say, uh, government reports, taxation, etc. So uh, we do have, let's say, we are certified to send information to the government about, uh, let's say, how much did the casino did, etc. So it needs, let's say, a lot of credibility. We pass a lot of certification as well. In Colombia, for instance, we are uh, the official reporting uh, services to Coljuegos, which is the government taxation authority. So basically, in a nutshell, it manages really everything, uh, let's say, inside the operation of a casino. And in our case, our product is called Genuina, and it has a real good trends when we talk about marketing, business intelligence, and uh, what we call also proactive marketing, meaning personalizing mm -hmm. the experience of a given player, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you actually stop people? Because it's obviously a casino and casino usually means gambling. So do you have any measures in controlling people and their spendings and how it, the whole process of gambling is uh, controlled? Sure. So basically, uh, we have inside the casino management system, as well as in the online, a way to do some mm -hmm. responsible gaming. So as a player, I can set, let's say, my own budget because I want to make it fun and I want to keep it fun. And that's very important. Exactly. I encourage everyone to keep it fun. <laughs> so uh, basically, uh, I can set my budget, the time I want to spend. It could be per day, per uh, per week. And the system will uh, trace that because uh, typically I have my player card, right? So mm -hmm. when, uh, when I try to surpass my limit, it will stop, right? So this is one way for, uh, let's say, assessing responsible gaming and uh, ensuring it's, uh, let's say, enforced. Another way of doing so is by predictive analysis. So we see some trends, we mm -hmm. see some people, let's say, starting to spend more and more, coming more often, coming, let's say, in the casino of 24-7, starting to come late night at, let's say, different times, twice a day, you know? So we can prevent this, yeah. but of course, we, we don't have, let's say, uh, the expertise ourselves to intervene, but we send the alert, and then it's up to the casino to put in place a service to be able to consult and to be able to assist those players with problems or potential problems, uh, because the idea is really to prevent and not to get there, right? Not, not to correct. Yes. Them. So do you, to enhance those measurements, do you use any AI, any machine learning, or is it everything statistics based? No, actually, it's uh, based on historical, but it's a predictive analysis. So mm -hmm. it's not yet uh, using, let's say, advanced tool and in artificial intelligence. But yes, it's based on. It's the plan uh, to. It's the plan. Every... Absolutely. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely. That's amazing. Actually, so... it's uh, in the upcoming quarter we're uh, we're starting, let's say, the AI introduction. Yes. 
Fantastic. That sounds really good. Um, so who are actually the main targeted clients by your solution and what benefit do they get from using your platform? Because there's lots of betting platforms, lots of casinos. So what actually differs you? Sure. And what main client? So it's two questions actually, sorry. So who are the main targeted clients uh, yeah, by your sure. solution? Sure. So the main target of the client are basically uh, the offline casinos. Why? Because we have a simple way to bring them to expand to the online space. And because we have already a casino management system, so we do have them already as clients. We understand, let's say, the problematics they are facing, the issues they are facing. And we are giving here a solution that is not available on the market. Basically, we are the only and unique uh, unified gaming solution. So we are the unique platform that allows at the same time playing inside the casino and outside the casino using the same account and using the same loyalty points. So basically, mm -hmm. I'm a player, I'm uh, in the casino, I'm playing on my slot machine, and now I want to bet online. Okay, no problem. I take my cell phone, I make a bet, I continue. So it's really like uh, the money flow from inside to outside easily, <laughs> instantaneously, and uh, most important in a secure way. And uh, uh -huh. are the only to also to support the crypto payment inside Casino. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's <laughs> that's a good answer. I can't argue with that one. So, but actually, what benefit do they get from using your platform, those targeted clients, and what actually differs you from other platforms? Perfect. So, on this aspect, uh, we have a lot of benefits. Basically, we we do partner with Casino, right? So, Casino have benefits, mm -hmm. and the clients of the Casino have also derived benefits. So, players and Casino. So uh, I would put it, let's say, from a casino side first. The casino is able, first of all, instead of we know the competition, let's say they will offer you a beautiful online site with your brand on it, and it will cost you about 100K. But basically, you're paying upfront. You're not certain to be able to find the resources, uh, the skill set, everything in regards of operating such a casino. Mm -hmm. our, uh, in, uh, in our case, what we do, we do assess the casino itself and the potentiality. And we say, okay, we accept, uh, let's say, to, to do a partnership, and we take the risk with you. So no upfront payment. This is the first, uh, let's say, uh, advantage. Mm -hmm. Second advantage, we allow them to, uh, let's say, bring their own client to the online uh, in a secure manner. So they can do something, let's say, inside their casino and continue it, off, uh, let's say, offline. I'll give you a simple example. Let's say there is a given uh, tournament, right? So we can do qualification inside the casino, first round of tournament online, and then the, the mm -hmm. finalists come to the physical casino, let's say, for the final round, and they were winning the big prize. So this is a way of uh, creating an immersive experience to the player, right? So we mm -hmm. don't we no longer have barriers between, let's say, the land base and the online. It's really a cohesive and immersive experience. Also, uh, for Combine, casinos, yes. for online casinos as well, they have to pay a lot, let's say, to bring aggregators for payment, etc. So in our case, uh, of course, we allow the crypto payment, which is, uh, let's say, only paying for the gas, right? Mm -hmm, uh, yeah. Other possibility is really transfer money from uh, inside your account of the casino to the online and vice versa. So basically doing that is using the, the physical casino as a real cashier, right? Oh, yeah. So it's mm -hmm. your cashier station. You don't need a banking institution or an aggregator in between. For players, a lot of benefits as well because the player yeah. instantaneously do deposits. He make mm -hmm. a cash out. He go. He collect his money right away. No waiting time for processing. Five business days, etc. Uh, the player can also benefit because it's a 360 degree view of the player. So he has his let's say favorite games displayed on the landing page because we know what okay. is you know so we can reflect what is yeah, his preference and in, in mm -hmm. both key scenarios and also for for the players uh, they can uh, have a bigger trust why i give you an example like i'm in a casino i win the jackpot uh, i rarely or barely see some people let's say doubting and saying oh now i want the jackpot i'm gonna go to the cashier is he going to pay me or not well you know in the online world it happens a lot so, yeah <laughs> regarding trust let's say okay would i be paid or not of course by sharing the brand you know and also yeah. by the decentralized uh, ledger we give a really good solution and trust to the players to to be let's say comfortable in their playing and Thanks within so the much. parameters of uh having their privacy setting let's say not displayed to everyone right 
I'm really big on safety and security, so I'm sure a lot of people will agree on me on that part. Uh, but I've actually got a question because you talk about online and offline casinos. But why would actually the offline casinos seek expansion to the um, online gaming space? Why, why would they be interested in it? Yeah, uh, actually, it's a very good question, uh, Sarah. Yeah. Actually, uh, it has been, let's say, a big debate uh, about five years ago, like, uh, would it be kind of, uh, you know, like, uh, geoparadizing my own revenue by doing that, etc. Thanks yeah, to exactly. Jersey. Thanks to Jersey. <laughs> they did a pilot and they did, the, uh, since it has been licensed, right, in uh, New mm -hmm. Jersey. So we have casinos that only share the brand between their okay. online casinos and their land-based casino. I give you the first year numbers. 72% of the players were playing on both sides. And spending inside the casino mm -hmm. has been augmented per player that does both channels by 15%. Really? Really. So it has a synergetic effect and not cannibalization. Uh, so this is for sure. We know it also because our team have, let's say, a lot of experience in many areas, also the operation of casinos itself. And for real, like, it's two different, let's say, needs for the players. Players need to socialize sometimes and be inside the casino. And mm -hmm. players need also to be alone sometimes and being able to socialize through chat, etc., and play their favorite games. So it's really, there is no, no place of cannibalization here. It's really a synergetic effect. And the more we create a immersive experience, the more uh, we'll get benefits from such a continuous experience. Now, let's talk numbers, for instance. If we're talking about the yes, iGaming uh, sector, we're talking in 2024 by about $100 billion. So and being a casino, if I was a casino manager, let's say the decision is easy. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, another one, uh, at the end of the day, that are not even taking the risk. Why? Because mm -hmm. we're doing the revenue share, right? So we are doing the assessment. We are doing the potentiality of the online market. And we're not over, let's say, charging at the beginning uh, upfront fees or anything. Mm -hmm. so all this will stimulate it. And despite that, uh, between us in every, let's say, single aspect of the retail, the lines and the borders between offline and online are really like uh, merging, I would say. For instance, you know very well that Amazon, let's say, opened the shops that are uh, <laughs> physical. Yeah. There, uh, you can try your favorite clothes online. <laughs> so basically, uh, in in the industries in general, in the retail, we're seeing a kind of merger and immersive experience over channels. I like it. However, you know, because lately I've actually been seeing loads and loads of projects in the online gaming, but. And I'm struggling to see what actually is the difference between between them and what sort of added value you do bring in with your project because the, you need to have something special and there needs to be that one thing about you that people go for you because the choice is as big as there is cards in the deck. That's quite yeah. a cool example. Uh, but the choice is massive. You know, there's so many platforms you can use to do the same thing. So what sort of a value do you bring in with your project? Very good question, actually. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, basically, uh, what we are doing and what is very clear, we're not another of uh, online gaming site. We are not, let's say, trying to do or Sorry. reinvent the wheel and say we do have a token and we want to do a online gaming site. Uh, there is a lot of, uh, let's say, projects. Some of them were very magnificent and uh, brought a lot of value. Today, we have a lot of people that are following and creating another token doing about the same. Uh, here, what we're talking about is a business opportunity. Mm -hmm. we are, let's say in the gaming uh, sector, we know what is the opportunity. There is an opportunity that is not addressed. What is this opportunity? Is the convergence between online and land base. Mm -hmm. So we are tapping really inside this opportunity and trying mm -hmm. to bring a solution for this segment that we do believe, and thanks God, our partners also <laughs> believe the same. Uh, this sector will be, let's say, more and more. Uh, let's say, uh, will grow more and more. Why? Because we all know, let's, uh, let's say, baby boomer, etc., and the new generation. Mm -hmm. And new generation are uh, really, let's say, we don't really make a difference. Huh? Did I call my friend or did I send him a message? It's, it's kind of all together, right? Yeah. Uh, virtual yeah. and uh, physical is kind of merged together. So uh, basically, at the end of the day, we, we, we are tapping into uh, addressing a niche that is not currently addressed by anyone. And again, we are in a unique platform to be unified. When I say unified, we're unified for payment, but we're also unified for players. 
meaning if you are part of a loyalty club, you have a certain tier because you mm -hmm. have been loyal to, to a given casino for years and years. Uh, when you go online, you will have the same privileges. So we're able to, let's say, translate what you have already acquired in terms mm -hmm. of inside the casino to the online gaming as well. So do you have different like bounty memberships? Like you yes. say something about, okay, so what do yes. you offer then? Oh, absolutely. So this will map it. This is the first exercise that we do when we analyze a new casino. We mm -hmm. need to map his loyalty program because he has already an existing loyalty program, right? So we need to map it online. Uh, uh, like like he does a bit in his physical world. So let's say he has, uh, I think something simple, three tiers, uh, diamond, gold, and uh, and silver, let's say, okay? So if someone is gold, uh, let's say we have an algorithm, and this is uh, like uh, based on a lot of experience and a lot, lot of pilots performed in the past, that mm -hmm. would allow us to position this person at almost the same level on the online, for mm -hmm. the given time, right? And then he will have the opportunity or she will have the opportunity to uh, to get more uh, points inside the casino and accumulated points as well outside the casino. Now, what is very important, and I didn't talk about uh, that until now, is the reward club. So the reward club is uh, going now beyond the premises of the casino. What we are doing is we are giving, we're empowering the casinos to be able to have a reward club that goes beyond the casino to the hospitality sector. I'll give you an example. I'm here at the casino. Uh, in, my, uh, in my in the same road, uh, next corner, there is a hotel. Mm -hmm. So I want to do a deal with the hotel and share reward club. Oh yeah, but me, I use this one. What do you use as technology? Oh yeah, uh, no, we don't have the same compound. Okay, but how would you commit? How I'm sure that you are committing the same that I'm committing for spending, etc. So it becomes very hard, right? Uh, for one hotel. Imagine you were talking about creating, let's say, an ecosystem of partners around a geographical yeah, area, right? More, yeah. So basically for us, it's simple. We resolve this, uh, this problem. It's based on the PBET tokens. So basically you will accumulate PBET comp points and through the blockchain technology, everyone in a secure environment will be, let's say, will have committed everything. So no double uh, double spending problems, uh, no, let's say, a commitment that are not honored, right? So even those partners, they can trust them, each other and share with their uh, clients and do mm -hmm. trust selling. For the player, it's very interesting as well because he will be able to benefit from many other, let's say, it's fun to have a T-shirt from a casino, but also to have other kind of <laughs> offers is also fun, right? Yes, <laughs> so right. I want, let's say, a free night at a hotel or a free massage or whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. Extra benefits always make it more interesting for the uh, customers. I completely agree. So how are you planning? Because I, like I said, I was having a look on your website and I... One of the questions popped out is how are you actually planning to commercialize the unified gaming platform? Is that correct? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, it is uh, the unified gaming platform. Actually, yes. Uh, we call it like that because it's a, a unification, right? It unifies, let's say, both worlds, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it's the same platform. So you have 360 degree view of the player as a yeah. casino, right? So yeah, it is uh, the, the case. And how we are planning to commercialize? Well, it's, it's a bit easy for us since we have already footprint inside the casinos, right? We talked a bit earlier that we have the casino management system. Currently, we have about 24 casinos using our casino management system. And uh, using the casino and our reputation, let's say, in the service, etc., mm -hmm. you can see some of them as testimonials on our website, pbet.io. And yeah. at the end of the day, it's, uh, let's say, they know us, they know that we do deliver. And they know our products, right? So what we are using is really we're using the casino management system footprint to offer to these casinos at first to go to the online world. Okay. So, so I give you a concrete example. Two days ago, I think on Bitcoiners, there was an article about an LOI that has been signed with the Player Palace group of casinos in Mexico. It's mm -hmm. about seven casinos, and we're targeting first a casino called Revolution in Monterrey. So it's one of the biggest casinos actually in uh, Mexico. Mm -hmm. And they announced that they will, they will use our unified gaming platform. So today That's I can say also it has been signed. So it's not no longer a LOI. We have signed the agreement actually. That's, so, That's amazing. <laughs> so to sum up, let's say on the commercialization plan, first of all, create, let's say, uh, a solution for our offline casino. Mm 
Yes. Again, augment the footprint of our uh, casino management system and expand online. And mm -hmm. third, create really a technology showcase per, per country. Because, you know, like it's very important to have one casino in each country and creating this big buzz and people can go and visit and see really what are the advantages. So this is what we are trying to do in each country where we are. We'll elect, let's say, a given partner, high visibility, of course, high reputation. Yes. And we try to uh, make, let's say, uh, make them use the benefits of our technology and be our ambassadors at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So it all sounds amazing. There's lots of gaming, casino, both massive markets. But we're actually in a crypto world. And how so how does the blockchain technology come into the project and how does it apply to the ecosystem of PBIT? Yeah, absolutely. So f first of all, there is, uh, let's say, all the traditional uh, benefits from uh, from the online course, gaming. Yes. Let's say the privacy, we talked about that. So being able to uh, to put money in, money out without having to give all your P degrees. Uh, you've been born <laughs> till today. <laughs> uh, second of all, it's the aspect of, let's say, using the cryptocurrency for instant payment. As we said, instant payment, instant withdrawal. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, almost automatic withdrawal. Let's say, yes, that is an audit to make sure everyone, uh, let's say, benefits from fair gaming. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, almost instant. Uh, but beyond that, there is, uh, let's say, the aspect of uh, really having the token involved inside the ecosystem itself. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, we talked about uh, rewards club. So for the rewards club, uh, it's very important to be to have a one a secure environment, but also to have the same baseline as we said. So what what is a baseline? It's com complementary points. How do you define complementary points? Okay, what should I put in that, and what should my partner put in that? Okay, it's prorated on the spending on the player. Okay, it's big words, but at the end of the day, we need a smart contract to yeah. to well, attach all that together, right? And to have, let's say, uh, we 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 don't want the partners to end up at court, <laughs> so we prefer to have a very transparent smart contract, basically. And uh, it really, let's say, we have all the engagement rules of the World Club inside it, inside this, uh, let's say, uh, smart contract. I give you another example about trust. Uh, let's say uh, we have uh, a big raffle, a tournament. We want to assess a winner. And the price mm -hmm. is big, it's huge. Let's say it's multi-casino and it's really a significant amount of money. Uh, typically, what do we do in life? Uh, we bring one of the top five auditing firms, uh, Deloitte, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera, and we say, okay, please supervise that. Why doing that if, we can, if I can put a smart contract? do the raffle online, everyone can check the blockchain technology and see that it was fair, that it's not driven to an internal account that is no, no. a system <laughs> company, <laughs> right? Golden chain, for example. <laughs> so really, uh, like, I mean, uh, a lot of use case scenario, a lot of benefits from the blockchain technology, mm -hmm. but uh, trust, fairness, the fact that you are able to, uh, let's say, see what, what happened for real, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I saw that I have won, but I didn't want. Okay, let's replay it on the blockchain. Let's mm -hmm. check it. Uh, we know it's in, uh, in, immutable, right? It's not immutable. Yes. So, it's so basically, you have everything, let's say, in hand to empower the player to be able to assess the fairness. And of course, people are, go are going to have some exciting features in the future, like uh, voting over certain functionalities, mm -hmm. etc. And uh, and I hope it will be, let's say, a very pleasant uh, gaming experience for the players as well. Right? Hopefully, hopefully it will be. So uh, can we actually focus a little bit more now on the tokenomics of your project, like what stage, price, and also where can we get you? Because that's quite, quite important. Absolutely. So basically, uh, today, uh, first, uh, the token is ERC20. We have 108 million uh, that are for the cloud sale. So basically, it represents 70%. Okay. 70% are uh, for the cloud sale. Every single token not sold will be burned. And on a prorated, uh, prorated uh, basis, everything mm -hmm. also internal will be. Okay. Uh, now, uh, we are in an IEO. We, we, we adopt for a, a multi launchpad approach, meaning that we are doing round one with multiple exchanges. Mm -hmm. So today, we are in the round one. Currently, we are doing P2P, B2B, and uh, you're going mm -hmm. to be the first to know that uh, we're going to do commencing on the 14th, on the 15th, actually. Of the month. We're going to start with EX Markets as a second exchange, 
and we will announce the third very soon. So we're doing a multi exchanges. Now for the IEO round one, it's a discount of 35%. From a mathematical perspective, it corresponds to a bonus of 54%. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's very attractive also for people to be able to benefit from it, etc. Uh, regarding the next round, we will announce it. So we're doing round one, round two, and we're expecting to be on exchanges by uh, beginning of October. Okay. okay. And uh, let's say that we, are, we have already uh, three partners that will be listed on. So we have already commitment for listing. That's fantastic. That sounds it's almost too good to be true. I mean, because <laughs> um, you clearly believe that your token will gain the value but can you actually explain how and why yeah sure <laughs> actually uh yeah beyond my passion etc yeah, exactly. <laughs> to facts. realistically realistically and to facts uh, first of all you have a lot of project today right that have a future let's say scenario that makes sense to use their tokens what we offer today is an immediate use of the token why because we have our online gaming site we do have uh, our uh, casinos offline. They will be using uh, our uh, PBET token mm -hmm. because this is, let's say, something that we'll offer to our partner and we will offer discount on settlements for everyone that is using PBET tokens. Second, mm -hmm. we will have exclusive uh, features for the players that mm -hmm. are accessible only for players that use PBET tokens. So we talked uh, about the loyalty club, tier one, tier two, yeah. tier three. And then you have a privileged uh, club, which is only accessible for players that are uh, using the PBET. Also, we'll give a lot of, uh, of uh, bonuses, I would say, and to the PBET tokens. Why? Not because uh, just they are using our token. No, yeah, but because it's fact of if they use your token and they use your technology, these yeah. people are more loyal, right? So it's very natural for me to say, okay, we should compensate more than it's not mm -hmm. uh, only to create demand, right? Okay. Uh, again, uh, after that, we have let's say some deals that will be announced soon with some gaming studios that will do games that are available on PBET token only. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, of course, uh, since we are in the market, we have the team has about 200 years of experience, uh, let's say, in the gaming industry. So we will be uh, tailoring the game to each market and cultural inheritance, making it, let's say, example for Mexico, what will go on for Mexico is not the same for the States, for the United yes, States. Yes, of course. And everyone has favorite, etc. So based on that, mm -hmm. we'll be putting some, let's say, exciting features per country or a, a geographical region. Mm -hmm. And this will, uh, will, will be, let's say, available on this talk, right? So it's another demand that will be created because it's your only way to play with, with that. Above See, I didn't and all that. I didn't even think about it like that at all. It, it's yeah, yeah, like different uh, geographic stuff. No, completely didn't cross my mind even. No, absolutely. And also it's an inherent part of the reward club itself, right? So uh -huh. by committing, let's say, or by gaining some points at the end of the day, there is people consuming PBET and putting it in the blockchain as secured against a given reward, right? So just the, imagine a reward club that is for the hospitality sector mm -hmm. and what kind of demand it could uh, it could represent, right? So this will increase also the demand, whereas the supply is remaining the same. So for all these reasons and uh, some innovation we're working on, I do believe that it will gain value very fast and uh, it will be put into use uh, as as quickly as we will be listed exchanges. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So I actually have run out of questions now, Basal. If there is anything else you would like to mention on your side, uh, please feel free. It is your moment to shine and this <laughs> microphone's back to you now. Thank you. Well, uh, I'll take this opportunity to really thank, uh, let's say, all the community, all the contributors. Uh, I'm really, let's say, amazed to see more than 30,000 users now on our telegram group uh, i see uh, let's say people are interested in uh, knowing more and more about the project so for me it's really like uh, something that is encouraging it motivates us it motivates our team it motivates uh, uh, everyone uh, herein to continue and to deliver, deliver beyond the expectation etc 
Now, of course, I'm not a, uh, let's say, financial advisor. What I can provide here is only, let's say, facts. <laughs> uh, everyone can take his own decision based on that or, uh, let's say, uh, ask a financial advisor. But in assessing any project, uh, Sarah, what I do in life is I look at the end of the day at the people behind the project. Are the people real? Are the people uh, able to deliver? Uh, do they know what they are doing? Do they know what they don't know <laughs> and are <laughs> able to go attract the resource and uh, being able to, to see it? And you can see in our track record how we added, let's say, the right person at the right moment in our advancement toward uh, today, let's say. Uh, uh, beyond that, we look into the product. When we look into the product, very important one, we are talking about tokens. The product is two products, right? It's a commercial product you are offering and the token. So is the token really in use? Is it, let's say, something essential for the project as is? Or is it just something, let's say, to make a fundraising and then uh, use the commercial product and forget about the token? Mm -hmm. Do we have really a commercial product? At what stage is it, et cetera? This is very, very important. And the project, is there really a business case scenario? Is it a business opportunity that makes mm -hmm. sense at the end of the day? Is it appealing enough, et cetera? So basically, my recommendation is always to look into these aspects uh, to be able to assess the risk and uh, know, let's say, what we are uh, talking uh, about. And at, at the end, I will uh, really, if let's say we're more than happy to respond to any question. So I will encourage people to go to pbet.io and from there to all our uh, social networks. I'll be more than happy to respond on Telegram groups. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward for that. And uh, again, we, we have contributors that uh, did, let's say, a lot of contributions that are not financial, and mm -hmm. we do appreciate them a lot. Uh, let's say, for example, yourself, uh, <laughs> other uh, people that are bringing, let's say, some interest about the project, a hype, etc. <laughs> but also, uh, there are some people that brought us some ideas because they see some features on the online gaming platform and they say, okay, you could do that, you could do this, etc. And these are like yeah. lovely contributions as well. Mm -hmm. So thanks really from the bottom of my heart to everyone for that. You're very welcome. I can speak for myself. Thank you so much for coming over. I liked the project before and I'm definitely a fan. And I hope that people before they invest will do indeed, like you have said, do their own research because it's very important to know what you're actually investing in. I always try and skim through at least the white paper, dig out some stuff on the um, on the team members and then just see how the community actually responds. And you have ticked up all the boxes. So I'm just going to finish it on here. So I'd like to thank you very much uh, for coming over to my show. And if you want to say anything else, please feel free. Thank you so much, Sarah. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Looking Thank forward. you very much. Thank okay. you. We'll speak soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.